but now we're going to move on to what I guess is the main event for tonight, Mega Man 11. Could have been playing this many hours ago, and I'm not talking about streaming, I mean just like as soon as it unlocked, but I wanted to stream this game tonight. I'm going to be playing on the SF30 Pro controller, which is basically a wireless SNES controller. I think I've talked about it before. This is probably the best way to play it. So we'll just get right on that and start. No more delays, let's do this. Just the tip of the saltberg, yep, pretty much. I strongly believe Albert's research must stop. So it's a young Dr. Light. Light? Yep. We can't build the future on your empty optimism. Say what you will. I cannot agree to this. Please listen. No, you listen to this. At every turn, you've ignorantly blocked my research. Mr. Wiley, control yourself. I see the committee is in agreement. And so, the department chooses Thomas Light's research into robots with independent thought. Thank you, everyone. Why? Why are you fools so blind? One day, Light. One day the world will know I was right all along. Bad memories make the worst dreams. A genius of my caliber needs sleep to keep his brain in gear. Wait. That research from my youth. Yes! Now I'll show you light! Get some nice backstory there. The whole villainy was because of Wily being a salty piss baby. Yeah, I guess that could sum up quite nicely. Downloadable content detected? Oh, this is because I, yeah, I pre-purchased the game, so apparently you get extra music for that. Thank you for playing our demo. When you start a new game, you'll receive a special item. Okay then, that's cool. So yeah, here we are. It's been many years in the making, and by that I mean Nothing happened for a very long time with the Mega Man franchise. You guys should know this, like, Mega Man's 9 and 10 happened, then nothing for a long time. Capcom just went, you know what, nobody cares about Mega Man, let's just, um, fucking do nothing with it for a long time. Then, what's-his-face left Capcom and started his own company with Blackjack and Hookers. He made his own take on Mega Man, this fucking thing. Yeah, this fucking thing that I backed on Kickstarter and I'm totally 100% happy with. And of course, after that um, shambles, we are now getting a proper Mega Man, and here it is. So let me just check the options real quick and we'll get right into it. So yeah, jump and shoot. All the usual button. Let me just make sure these are correctly assigned. Jump and shoot, rush coil. Oh, there's Rush Jet as well. Cool. Set these and then next weapon, previous weapon. Right, that works. So yeah, Mighty Number no. 9. You guys know how I feel about that game. It's not the worst game in the world, but for something that was... Uh, basically propped up to be the successor to Mega Man at a time when Capcom were doing absolutely fuck all with the series. It really underdelivered on its promises. And that game fucking had like four million dollars in funding so I'm not even sure where they went wrong with that. Like there was a whole lot of like management problems I guess in the background. Like KJ and Afune, that's the guy's name, the guy who often credited as the father of Mega Man but if you look a little bit closer he's not really. Like, he had heavy involvement with the games, yes, but he wasn't the creator of the franchise. Sure, I'll get the one-time item, whatever that is. 
Of course, they still can't figure out what the year is at the laboratory of Thomas Light, father of modern robot society. Many hardworking robots have arrived for the annual maintenance checkup. Oh, there's Blockman. Hmm. All systems nominal. You're in great shape, Blockman. All thanks to you, Doc. You built me rock solid! Well, I can hear the construction yard calling. Block out! <laughs> Good luck out there. Roll, how many checkups are left? Let's see. We just finished with Block Man. That leaves Torch Man, Acid Man, Impact Man, Bounce Man, Fuse Man, Tundra Man, and Blast Man. Just seven to go. Oh, brother, there's no end to them. Doc, how about giving your favorite assistant a break? I don't need a break, Otto. You know, for a robot, you sure do complain a lot. Now let's crank it up a gear. Oh, I ain't a machine. I am, mean, but still. Mr. Torchman, please proceed to the... Oh, earthquake! What? What on earth? No, Otto, hurry to me. I can heal the UFO. Yep, there he is. Splendid to see you again, Light. Wily! Doctor, what's going on? Stand back, everyone. I'll handle this. Mega Man! Hm, this is no time for your heroics. I've simply come to give Dr. Light a message. Then kindly be quick about it. Of course. You see, I recalled some old research. The very invention you so coldly crushed when we were students together. Or has your memory failed you? Our university days. A device. It can't be. Oh, but it can. Your objections wouldn't stifle me forever. I have perfected my design. And now we'll see who was right all along. Dr. Light, what's the ruckus? Hmm, perfect timing. A lot of you will make excellent test subjects. Wow! Who are you calling a test subject? Quickly! You must all run and hide! Who made speed here? My robots! Over here, Light! That speed! What have you done? Dang it! Nobody blocks Black Man! Let those robots go, Dr. Wily! <laughs> I have a better idea! At last the world will bow down to the genius of Dr. Wily! <laughs> also, there is a turkey leg cooking in the background there. You see that? Wait, Mega Man! Wily's invention is called the Double Gear System. It's designed to push robots far beyond their normal strength and speed. If he really has completed it, I'm afraid you won't stand a chance. But we can't just let him get away. Mega Man, I can tell you won't be stopped very well. This is the prototype double gear system that Wiley developed back at Robot University. If I install this into your circuits, you may be able to stop him. The thing looks bigger than Mega Man's body. How are you going to fit that in there? On robot systems. I can take it, Doctor. I want to do this, no matter the cost. Hook me up! As you wish. The installation will take some time. There's a lot of work to do. The double gear system is fully installed. Mega Man, rise and shine! Go get him, Mega Buddy! And remember, your old pal Otto is here to help out! Mega Man, that dirty Wily won't know what hit him! Dirty Wily. Mega Man, you're doing a noble thing. Be careful out there. Doctor, roll. Otto, I'll be back soon. Right, well, I already know how the double gear system works, so we don't really need to check that. 
Right, so here are the new robot masters, Blockman, Acid Man, Blast Man, Fuse, Bounce, Torch, Impact and Tundra. I guess I'll just do Blockman since we did this in the demo like a month ago. Should be able to do this fairly quickly. Now that I know the ins and outs of the level. Oh, um, hang on a minute. Buttons are not configured correctly. Can I change that? Ah, shit. How, how do I change the controls in the game? Do I have to go back? Okay, for some reason the buttons are not set up correctly and I don't know if I can fix that. Oh, here we go. Right, controls. Right, so... Shoot, jump. I think everything else is correct. I think I just did those two in reverse by mistake. Yeah, everything else seemed to be fine. Right, confirm. Back. There we go. So yeah, I'm sure the, the, the controls, uh, the graphics, may be a point of contention for some people because it doesn't look... Like, it looks fine, but some people might have a problem with how the game is presented visually. It doesn't seem too bad for me, to be honest. Like, I kind of like this. Also, I like that the rush gear is now assigned to a button. Uh, I can't get the rush jet yet. I guess I have to beat a few bosses first before I get that one. I mean, that's kind of normal for Mega Man. Looks like there's in-game achievements as well. The special gift gives you three E-tanks and 300 bolts. Oh, okay then. It's been a while since I've used this um, SF30 Pro controller, it's really nice. That's the speed gear, just making sure I know what the right one is. So yeah, we're going to go through this fairly quickly this stage since we did this in the demo last month. But yeah, it's perfectly playable. Like, some people might not want to play with the gear system, but you can beat it without the gear system, but... I think the levels are designed around them, so if you're not using them, if you're choosing not to use them, then it's just only going to be harder for you. I guess that's one way you could like limit yourself to get more challenge out of it. Like that enemy for example, like the way its weak point like constantly spins, you're supposed to like slow down. Hang on, let me... So that you can hit the weak spot like that. I accidentally nudged the power gear there. So yeah, you know how the gear system works. You've got the, sl the speed gear for slowing down everything around you, and then you've got the power gear for like, I think double damage or something like that. Double or triple damage output. And I think you can activate both at the same time, which will give you both things, but it runs out twice as fast. And if it does run out, then it's kind of like a stamina meter, you have to wait for it to like fully recover before you can use it again. Ah shit. I was hoping not to die at all during this stage, but whatever. Yeah, so the way that I've got the... The way I've, the controller is set up, it's going to be a little bit easy to hit those trigger buttons unless I hold my fingers back, if that makes sense. It's like difficult to describe, but I've got like a... My controller looks like a SNES controller, but it's got like an extra pair of triggers at the back and my fingers are kind of resting on them by accident. So I need to try not to do that.
Oh, almost got crushed there. Ah. Uh. So I've heard good things of this game so far, I've not seen anyone play it, like Vinny streamed this last night because he got like a review, well not a review copy, like just a uh, a copy that Capcom sent to him because he's like a big streamer and all that. So he streamed it like yesterday, I avoided that because I didn't want to be spoiled on anything. But I have heard that um, a lot of people like the game so far. Like, the reviews seem to be fairly positive. The game has been received fairly well, which is good to hear for a new entry in a long dormant franchise. Yeah, sorry if I randomly activate the gears like that. I'm getting used to the way I'm holding this controller. I might actually rebind the buttons so that I don't do that as much. going to happen. There we go. One thing I do like is if you use the rush coil button, you can quickly press the button again to like get rid of it. If in case you like position it slightly wrong, like say I put it here and I want it a little closer to the edge, so I can do that. Move a little closer. I'm not happy with that move. There we go. I actually like how quickly you can do that. Like that's much better than doing this. Selecting the rush coil, unpausing and then like using it again. So it's nice to see that they fixed that. Like, they seem to have made a number of little changes to make it feel a bit better. Oh, crap. And yet I still die like an idiot. Welcome to Mega Man. No extra extra life though. You only get one. Everybody gets one. Yeah. I suppose that's one way to fill up your health. Yeah, let's hopefully not die this time.
Nope. I want to try something here. You know what? Never mind. It's not worth it. Ah! Total incompetence on my part there. I'm pretty sure when I played the demo of this, I got through this part first try. Like that part with the conveyor belts, or maybe I didn't, I don't remember. I think I did, or it didn't take me like three tries to get past it at the very least. So I'm already sucking tonight. Oh, so do not tell me what the boss order is. Like, I don't feel like I need to say that, but just in case. Don't tell me what the weaknesses are. I'm going to figure them out for myself. If I need help, I'll ask for it. That's part of the fun of Mega Man, trying to figure out the weaknesses. The weakness chain. I I press jump. Controller, hello? I, I, I swear I pressed jump there, but whatever. Let's just do that again. I, I don't know why... Whatever. I, I, I feel like I'm coming off with excuses there. Maybe I pressed it slightly too late, but I could have sworn I pressed it before I ran off the conveyor belt. But, whatever. So yeah, I was talking to um, Mu earlier. He played this game and he noticed how the stages are fairly long. I don't really see that as a bad thing. But I would wish they would do what they did with Mega Man X4 and Mega Man 8 and have like a halfway continue point if you get a game over. Because getting all the way to the Robot Master, then game overing and then starting all the way back to the start is kind of rough. Because I played the demo of this and I got like two game overs in that. Getting all the way to the end of the stage only to restart from the very beginning. Like if they added a halfway continue point then it wouldn't be as bad. I know I can use the speed gear, but I was trying to see if I could hit, the, hit it at normal speed, which is possible, but I'm not doing a very good job right now. Instantly. I was trying to disable that and I overused it. Oh, so I think you can jump on this thing? Yeah, you can. No! I thought I could slow him down, but I think it slows me down as well, or at least it slows down my bullet fire. Let me check. Oh yeah, it does actually, right. I thought it would slow him down and I could like do my regular fire rate. Better to learn that now. And like, make sure I remember that. I guess if you want regular fire rate, you have to use the double gear, like you have to use both at the same time. Oh, 
Did I use both? How did how did I use both at the same time? Can anyone tell me? I thought it was press both at the same time, but oh right, okay, it is press both at the same time. Ah, uh, so I was trying to get rid of that. Watch me be incompetent in Mega Man. Here can only be used if Mega Man has four or five pixels of health left. Are you sure about that? I thought I just did it. Oh no, I didn't. Right, okay. See, I thought when I was red there I was doing double gear, but no, that's like the power gear. So it's kind of a, of a last resort thing, that's how that works. Yeah. Oh. At least he didn't knock me the other way. That would have been ugly. the extra life doesn't come back even if you game over. Uh oh. Yeah, I'm being reckless. I'm gonna stop doing that. Let's try not to die this time. Oh. What was that about me trying not to die? I mean, I didn't die, but I almost did. Sorry, the D-pad made me slide instead of jump. Even the, the SF30 Pro D-pad does that sometimes, where I press left or right, but it presses down at the same time. It's not as bad as the Switch Pro controller when it comes to that, but it will do that from time to time. You might notice that. In fact, I might go to the I might use the Pro controller's analog stick instead. If that's a persistent thing, like if that, uh, if that happens on a fairly regular basis to the point where I just can't deal with it. But I'll try to deal for now. Uh, cool. 
I mean, I got some health back at least. Yeah, sorry if I'm sucking right now. I mean, it's Mega Man, would you expect, but... Wait for my gear to recover. Oh, you shitbag! Fuck! Why am I sucking at this now? I, d I swear I did better than this when I played the demo last month. Like, you can watch it, it's there. I did play this level already. The hope of a foe. Right, let's do this. No more fucking around, let's go. No, Apo. Okay, Mulligan. I'm gonna call Mulligan on that. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe it's the controller. Maybe the controller's giving me issues. I really don't know. I hate to sound like DSP where I'm trying to come up with excuses, but there we go. Finally. Don't know why don't know why I'm suddenly sucking so hard tonight. The spiritual successor to DSP, Millie Kirby. All I need is an obnoxious laugh and I'm set. It could be the internet. It's, like, I'm, I'm still a bit upset about how my internet like just died for an hour. But I, I really don't know. Right, here we go. Boss time. Fun part begins. Shit, that was my last life. Shit. I thought I had one more life, which is why I didn't use any E-tanks. Speedrun stress, let's go. Yeah, I'm just gonna tank that. Don't care. Don't care. I like that a blast shot is enough to, like, stun the metal. Which is that thing that you just saw there that I just pulled up.
See, that's kind of what I'm talking about, about how you game over at the boss and you have to start all the way back at the start. Thank you, Finger, for pressing that button. So yeah, I was hoping to finish Mega Man X6 before we got to this, but holy shit, is that game so badly designed? So yeah, I guess for people who didn't watch me play Mega Man X6 the other night, I guess I can elaborate on that. So I got to the final set of stages, you know how like the final set of levels before the end game. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna try using Zero. Or I was gonna try using X first. And I got to a part, like, at the very start of the stage, there's like a big wall of spikes. You cannot traverse it with X. And I was like, okay then, well, I'll try it with Zero. Got through the stage using his double jump. And after that, I got to the boss, and the boss was basically shit. I, like, Zero was terrible against the boss, so I was like, okay, well, how the fuck am I supposed to beat the boss with Zero? But it turns out, you're supposed to get X's, like, shadow armor by collecting the shadow armor parts in the capsules. Only then can X actually get past that part that you cannot normally get past so that you can get to the boss. Because the boss fight is easier with X than it is with Zero. So I basically just wasted like three hours trying to get the shadow armor, which took a while. So it was a, it was a, it was a lot of time wasted to basically do what I could have been able to do from the beginning which was get to the end game with X. I, I think that's like bad game game design. Like that's, ter that's terrible game design that you force someone to do that. But... Mm, uh, the fuck is wrong with me tonight? I was hoping health would come out of that one. Really? I'm fine. Why am I struggling with this boss? This stage? This, this, this whole thing? I tried to take my time now and I still fucked up. At least it'll be entertaining for whoever decides to watch this video when you have like so many better videos you could watch. Like go watch Vinny's playthrough of this, I'm sure it's like much better. How many E tanks do you have? I think I have two. Like doesn't it not give you one for that special item thing? Plus I picked one up in this stage. Yeah, so I'm having sick thoughts with this SF30 Pro Controller. Maybe it's not actually good for me, like, because I'm struggling... Like, I think I'm doing worse with this controller than I was doing with the Pro Controller in that demo. 
so I think after this level I'm going to swap out to that. Like, with the Pro Controller, I have to use the analog stick because the D-pad on that one is shite, but at least I can play the game that way. It's not the optimal way, but it is a way that I think works better for me. Like, all the Mega Man X games that you've seen me play on the X Legacy Collections, I've just been using the Pro Controller with the analog stick, which works just fine. Like, there's no problems with that. Like, never use the D-pad on the Pro Controller. How many lives do I have? I tried to get a bit close to him there to avoid that, and I banged into his leg, I guess. What are you doing here? Yeah, I'll get it this time. Alright, here we go. That one I always get hell on. Duh. Please tell me that was... yeah. I'm switching controllers. I, I'm done with this controller. I like the SF30, but the D-pad is not... Like, it's difficult to describe. Sometimes it's pressing down when I don't want it to. So I'm going to use the Pro Controller instead. Plus, sometimes you saw me, I was, like, activating the gears by accident, which I also do not want to do. It's not as good a controller as I thought it was for this. So I should have no problems with this one. Like, already it feels more comfortable playing it this way. I know I have E-Tanks for people that keep asking, I just don't want to use them. I can beat this boss without it. I feel like this is a repeat of what happened the last time I played this when I got two game overs, but... I'm just going to chalk that up to the controller being shit. Well, it's, well, it's not shit, it's not, I'm not going to say that, but... I was clearly having some issues with that controller and I was not really sure how to deal with it or handle it. That was me that did that, that wasn't the controller doing that. I was just testing to make sure that the trickles were the correct buttons going into this. Now, watch me do this like a pro. 
controller. Wait, no, this isn't the part, is it? It's the next part. He's annoying me. There we go. the sound effects down just a little bit because I feel like I'm not really getting to listen to the music while I'm doing this. How do you change, like, I hang on a second. Okay, never mind. Why am I sucking? There we go. I don't know why I did that. Why I did that, but whatever. I can't believe I'm being salty over a stage that I've already completed, like in the demo. Oh. Still making mistakes. Many mistakes will be made. Yeah. <laughs> you fuck. I mean, every time I say th stuff like that, I feel like I'm blaming something, but it's just, it's just me saying dumb shit. Don't mind me. for him to come to me and of course he drops a big health when he's over a pit if he's over a small if he's over nothing he'll drop nothing uh, you, you know what i'm saying but it's always when the enemies are over a pit that they drop like the best stuff am i the only one that notices that Oh, you dick. I forgot about him. Right, maximum effort. Let's go. Never thought you'd make it this far. You're a few bricks short of a load. Stand too close to him when he does that. I've got two lives, right? Yeah, I've got two lives. 
this one and one more. What are you doing here? I have full health this time, so it You're should go well. Yeah, I thought I was going to jump there. I'm screwing up. Did he say get bricked? There we go. Ah, oh, thank God. I told you I could do it without the weapon. And without using an E-Tank. Or do they say get blocked? So that took me just about as long to do here as it did in the demo, maybe even longer than that. Yep, I'm off to a good start. You earn Super Mario Brick! Oh, that's cool. So the power gear gives you even more bricks. Can I charge this? Nope, you can't. Right, so again, no help on, like, the weakness chain. I'm just going to guess it, I guess. I'm gonna go with Fuse Man this time. Probably wrong, but let's do it anyway. Ready. Yeah. Oh, didn't realize that was a hazard. Did anyone else get damaged by that, not realizing that was a hazard there that I was standing on? Also does the classic bets. Oh yeah, that's one thing I really like about Mega Man 11, like, you get a proper chance to try out the weapon. Nope, oh, I really should stop jumping too high. I'm not realising that that above me was like a hazard ceiling. There we go. So yeah, it seems pretty good so far, I'm quite liking it, despite my frustrations with uh, getting through that stage again. I'm quite enjoying the game feel. That controller that I was using kind of sucked for this though. Probably not the best kind of controller for a game like this. The analog stick works fine. It does what it needs to. I'm not going to bother going for that gear, or bolt, whatever, nuts. Yeah. Even with slowdown, I still missed it. Yeah. 
Oh, wrong button. I knew that was going to go that way. You went by instinct and avoided it. Right, okay, so I guess it's just me um, being a dumbass and not realizing that that's. Uh, I thought it was just like decoration. I, I didn't really. It didn't occur to me that it was like something I wasn't supposed to touch. Please. Yeah. Right, I'll get it this time. All oh, right. Okay. I see the opening for avoiding that. This is not like fucking quick man where it's just like instant kill beams. Can I touch that? Nope, I can't touch that. Just checking. Yeah. Fuck. Okay, so I can't exactly cheese that either. There we go. Still can't duck. 11 games in and Mega Man still can't duck. Yeah, forget the double gear, I think. Dr. Light needs to install a fucking ducking chip for Mega Man. Um. Speed gear. 
Yep, just speed on that slow. Just sl slowly take damage. That works. Let me observe this first. Oh, right, okay, okay, I didn't realize I could... Now I just feel like an idiot for not seeing that. I was like, I don't, I, I was thinking to myself, I don't get this, how the fuck am I supposed to go through that without getting damaged? And then I realized that small gap in the middle helps you get through it, and I was like, oh, okay. I guess now it makes sense. Oh. Right, okay, I think I know when to move. No. It was worth it. It was worth it for the E-Tank. How close was I to the boss? Did anyone know? So yeah, I bought this game digitally. I was wanting to get the collector's edition that had the Mega Man amiibo, but... Let's just say that I fucking hate retailer exclusives because it basically prevented me from being able to order that online. So, long story short, GameStop in the US were the, the exclusive retailers of the Collector's Edition, the one that contains the Switch game on cartridge and the, the Amiibo. Like, I really wanted that. Like, I wanted it so badly, but because they're retailer exclusive, I cannot, like, order it from outside the US. And any other place I find them online, it's, like, ridiculously expensive because scalpers and all that fun stuff. So yeah, thanks to GameStop and their exclusivity deal, I was not able to get the collector's edition. I'm just playing the, 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 re the digital version of the game instead. And I don't have the Mega Man amiibo. So th thanks, uh... GameStop. I don't understand retailer exclusive shit. I think that's like... Like, the phrase necessary evil gets tossed around a lot, but I don't really see what's so necessary about this evil, you know? Like, what benefit to the consumer is it that they sell a very cool collector's edition to one retailer, like through one retailer? Like, I don't understand how that benefits the consumer side of things. Because it certainly doesn't fucking benefit me, I'll tell you that much for a fact. Hi Red Streak, welcome to the stream. Shit. Clutch that one with the gear system. Yeah, I think this is Fuse Man stage.
Ah. Yeah, you need to be careful that. I really wish Capcom would bring Mega Man powered up to like modern systems, like just upscale it to 1080p and release it on like the Switch and the PS4 and Xbox. I'm pretty sure people would be happy to buy that on like a console. Like Mega Man powered up is one of those unfortunate Mega Man games where it's actually a really, really, really good and competent remake. But because it was on a system that didn't really do all that well, it was kind of like doomed to fail in sales wise. And it's never been re released since then, so you're kind of left with a situation where it's like, well, you have an awesome game that's not on any other platforms other than the one that it didn't do so well on. There we go. I hope that's a checkpoint. Oh boy. Give me one second to get ready. There we go. Thank God. Would you recommend this game? It seems fun. If you like Mega Man, then I would recommend this. Prepare to diode. Power up. Yeah. Well, that didn't last long, did it? How could I refuse? Let's amp this up. It's just gonna be nothing but puns. Oh, wrong button. Fuck. This is one of those games where your weapon energy doesn't come back. My electrons. I may have to e tank this Prepare one. To diode. Power up. Live wire. Live wire. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh. oh why didn't I e tank that? Ah! I panicked there. I should have paused and used the E tank. Right. Speedrun mode engaged. Let's go. Oh, I didn't see the bat there. Oh, 
of course I said I like the game, but I've not... Like, just because I'm, like, angry at it doesn't mean I don't like it. Oh. Why do I keep forgetting that's a thing? Like, that ceiling? It was worth it to grab that. Okay, I thought it was something up there because that was just like an empty room. Why did I do that? There we go. I like how for a brief moment you can see his eyes before he blows up. Look with your special eyes. My brand! And then he blows up. So I, I know this game just came out today, but when do you think the next Mega Man game is going to be? Because I think people are wondering if this is just like the last Mega Man game that Capcom's going to make for a really long time just because, well, the last game they made was like the last one for a long time. I mean, people are speculating Mega Man X9 is a thing and it's probably in development, but we don't know that for sure. I, I certainly hope Mega Man X9 is a thing, and I hope it's good. Maybe I didn't activate that gear quick enough. Give me a big health, please. No? Try a couple more times. You wonder what upgrade you can get from Dr. Light's lab. I guess we could check that after we beat this stage. Oh, there we go. I was about to give up there, but I persevered just long enough for that to appear. That should be enough to get through to the boss room. Because I think this is like the last part before the boss, if I recall correctly. Oh, mistimed that. And that. What? Why am I doing things wrong?
Right, so I don't think I'm going to survive this one, but we'll see how many hits we can do with just like one fault health bar. See how this goes. You know what? I think I'm fine with using an E-Tank. I've got five already, so I'll just use one. I took so fucking long with Walkman, I may as well speed this up, no pun intended. Oh Jesus. There we go. I don't feel like doing that entire stage again. You're supposed to slide out of that. I kind of figured that, but then I lost the rhythm. I'm still a little bit upset tonight over that whole internet disconnection thing. Like, that put me in a bad mood, so... So, sorry if I sound a little bit upset because of that as well, like, obviously I'm frustrated playing this game, but I wouldn't be half as frustrated if it wasn't for what happened earlier tonight, because having no internet for like an hour while I'm streaming put me in a really rotten mood for a while. Yeah, let's try the speed gear version of this, just like bigger ones, okay then. Right, let's go to Mega Dr. Light's lab. I've made a breakthrough. I can now create new items for you. Okay, Mega. What'll it be? Mystery tank refills your energy and all weapons gauges. Yo, Mega. Oh, there's more stuff over I here. You in some parts? Okay, Mega. What'll it be? Extra lives are surprisingly cheap in this game. Have so damage taken in the stage that you use this item. Yo, Mega, can I interest you in some parts? So yeah, there's quite a few power ups here. It seems like why are roll and auto so small? I don't know. I mean. Is that not normally how they're supposed to look? Allows you to move at normal speed while using the speed gear. Oh, that's cool. An item that mas for master players that reduces your energy gauge but makes the ace in the hole double gear technique available me immediately. Oh, that's cool. What else have we got? Device that mm, a device that provides a special bonus when you complete a stage in such short time. Buddy chips. Tank container. Increase the number of energy tanks and weapon tanks you can hold. I mean, I can hold up to nine. Like, that's plenty. Why would I need even more than that? Also, look how many chips, uh, uh, bolts I've got. I can easily buy a lot of good ones here. Actually, you know what? Don't think I need to buy that just yet. Okay, Mega, what'll it be? Yo, Mega! Okay, Mega, what'll it be? Are you sure? I'll buy one of these in case I get into a right. situation where I use up all of my weapon energy and then I die. Like against the boss, Yo, so that I can refill. Can I interest you in some parts? Sure, this is what you want, buddy. 
And there you have it! Part complete! There we go. Hmm, who to do, who to do next? Let's try Bounce Man. That seems interesting. So yeah, I think I saw this boss in like the Nintendo the Nintendo d uh, trailer for it when they announced the demo like during the direct that was totally not a, a week late. But yeah, they, they did show this boss off in like the trailer that coincided with that announcement. So I saw a tiny bit of the stage already, but I haven't really seen all that much. Oh, okay, right. I get it. I was confused there, like, where? I'm, I'm going back down to the bottom. What was, what was the point in that? This just reminds me of Springman stage from Mega Man 7. I heard they wanted to get the I heard they wanted to name him Slinky Man, but they couldn't get the rights. That's a, a Game Grumps joke. Uh, old, old OG Game Grumps. Not like the, the new game groups, I don't really watch the Dan stuff. I'm sure he puts out good content, but I wasn't really interested in that stuff. You've heard me talk about this before. I'm more into the JonTron era game grumps, like that was when I watched game grumps. Yep, time for some bounce pads. Can I stand on these? Oh, right, never mind then. So this level seems a bit more chill than that other level that I was just doing. Oh, right. there and I fucked up and it's gone oh 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 please please There we go. 
Oh look, it's Froggy! Oh shit. I thought I killed it and I realised it was made of balloons, so it pops, but then it comes back. Wait, what, no checkpoints? Okay then. How many lives do I have left? Yeah, when I go to Wily, I'm going to have to buy like nine lives. I mean, that's that's like par for the course, isn't it? Like you buy like nine lives going into Wily's castle. Yeah, this stage seems somewhat easy. Like, it seems a bit more chill than the other two stages I was doing. But goddamn, all that, like, all that level and no checkpoints. I guess the checkpoint was after the frog. Jeez. Trying to think of how to get that one up. I might need the rush rush jet for that. Unless Okay, maybe I can reach that with just rush coil. Okay, you can barely make that. Get the frog. Froggy. Yeah. So yeah, it's just it's just like an animal balloon, I guess. That's the the joke. Oh. And it deflates. It deflates. It pops. It does everything a balloon does. Well. That's like the only things balloon do, balloons do. Oh, I see, we're attacking. Right, okay. I didn't realise there was somebody in sight. But I had to pop it like a few times and that would be it. Wrong button. I, me I meant to do power gear there and I swapped weapons instead, whoops. Power gear. 
There we go. So that must be the halfway point then. Gotta be careful in case those appear. Oh shit! I thought that was going to knock me the other way there, I didn't realise. There we go. At least I got a checkpoint this time. Kind of difficult to time this. There we go. Oh, you dick. Why am I holding that button if I don't need to hold it? The hardest E tank of the entire game. At least so far. Like, the other two E tanks I picked up were fairly easy to get. Can I even... Nope, you can't really go up by doing that. There we go. Why? Why? Why did I do that? Why? Why I do? I, I keep I keep trying to edge a little closer so that I land on the platform, but then I go too close and bounce off. I've done that like four times now. Oh, the most infuriating rim so far. Ugh, you can go suck it then. Suck a big balloon full of helium and then have a squeaky voice. Are you about to rush coil? Actually no, I'm going to see if I can do this without the rush coil. Oh yeah, the image thing doesn't work unless you do a direct link. I'm not going to click that. I Oh, 
Oh, come on, I pressed the jump. Don't you love it when you press the jump button slightly as you run off the edge? Like, slightly after you run off the edge? Okay, get up. There we go. Sorry, I was starting to get a little bit insane there. But we got it. We got this. What is that song? Is that The Lost Forest from like Mario RPG? So yeah, we're fighting this fucker again. How am I supposed to avoid him? Oh, not sure how to. Oh my god. Remember what I said about this stage being fairly easy? I take that back. I take that all back. Oh. Also, I have this habit of pressing the weapon button instead of the gear button. Like, sometimes I do that by accident. I think it works with gifts, give it a try. So we're all the way back here again. Due to, due to my incompetence, in fact, you know what? Can we leave the level or do we need to... Please tell me they at least added the option to like leave the level whenever I'm ready to. No? Okay, at least you can leave the level. Ah, Mega Man! Okay, Mega, are you sure? Are you sure? Ta-da! Are you sure? Are you sure? Ta-da! Are you sure? Ta-da! Are you sure? Are you sure? Ta-da! Buying a few extra lives for this one. Uh, no, you, you need to link the, the actual direct image. You can't like just link the, the tiny URL. Or is that Restream doing that? Hang on a second. Oh, right, that's Restream doing that. Did I disable the image? I think I disabled the images. Let me check. Because I disabled them a while back because I was having like a spammer that was like abusing it and I couldn't like not remove it without... <sighs> I, I can't explain things but yeah someone was abusing it. The f they were abusing the fuck out of it. So let me see if I can turn that back on if it's not... I thought I did turn it back on because they left. But let me just double check. I need to find where in the settings that is. Okay, it turns out I didn't re-enable that. I thought I did do that, but I guess not. Right, hang on a second. Sorry, let me let me fix something with the restream real quick. I'm trying to get this to work. Right, try sending it now, see if that works. Uh, 
I think there is a way to set it so that only mods can send images, which would be nice, but I'll have to set that up later. Okay, now I can see something. <laughs> yep, that's pretty much me right now. You know, I need to w I need to read the Mario comic, like the... Is it called Super Mario Adventure? It's like a, a graphic novel of like... I think it was like based off of Nintendo Power Comics or something like that, but it was like a really good like little comic book adaptation of like Mario. I have the book, like I got the book like a couple years ago, I've still not checked it out. In fact, it's sitting next to me, it's on my um, coffee table. Or more specifically, it's at the bottom part of the coffee table, you know how like underneath the, the table itself. Still not checked that out, I really need to read it. Because I've heard it's good. Because I got it from Amazon for like, I don't know, 20, 20 bucks? A few years ago. If that's what it's from, because the art style looks like it's from that, but I'm not entirely sure if that's from that. Right, I'll try not jump this time because that seems to be hindering my progression. There we go. But yeah, like I said earlier, there is speculation that Mega Man X9 is a thing. I would like to see them bring back the Mega Man X series. Because Mega Man X8, I've held this alright, but it's probably not like the best send-off for the series. I mean, it could be worse, it could be Mega Man X7. Hang on a second. Like, it could, it could be... Like, it could be worse, it could be this. Burn! Burn! Burn to the ground! Burn to the ground! Burn! Did I just get an E-Tank? I think I did. Hang on a minute. We, we can see what we just picked up there. I'm assuming it was an E-Tank. That's the first time I've seen that happen, so let's quickly check the, the footage. Right, so... I think we did. Oh shit. I think we did. Yeah, we did. Nice. That was good luck then. Be able to beat the frog this time. Oh, God.
There we go. Checkpoint. Checkpoint obtained. Definitely not worth it. Not worth going for that tiny health pellet to take like three hits. Four hits. You could get hurt by the balloons there. I thought those were like bouncy balls for a second. Like these things. I don't know what compelled me to jump forward before I shot that thing. I realised when I did that I was fucked. an extra life back, so that's alright. This is probably going to give Mel some form of PTSD, probably. No, no, I understand people who have a fear of balloons. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh, it's this room again. Oh good, it's my favourite room. Let's see if we can do this fairly quickly. I could do this and then bounce there. There we go. That's an easier way to do it. Or, or, I can do this. I think. Okay, that doesn't work. There we go.
Oh, you can bounce much higher with these ones, right? Okay. There. There we go. You can bounce over the frog. Yeah, I kind of figured that eventually. Like, the thing was, I thought that you wouldn't bounce that high, and then I realised, oh, you could bounce that high, but then the problem becomes timing the bounce. You know what? I'm going to rush this one. We're almost at the boss, finally. I think I'm going to stop after I get to the boss though, like I know it's only three robot masters and not like four, but... The stress of balloons combined with the internet issues earlier tonight kind of wore me out a little bit, but I could finish this stage, hopefully. If I have to, I'll use an E-Tank. Oh. about them. The main bots. Yeah. Okay, I'm guessing I need rush jet for that part. Just see me dodge all those bullets and then get hit after that. But I dodged all the bullets when I bounced back and forth. Don't know how I managed that. Next time I stream this game, I'm going to make this the first game of the night because I think I need more energy for this kind of game. Because I think I expended. Well, I didn't, I didn't really waste that much energy playing Forza. The thing was, the frustration of my internet going down was what made me kind of like waste a lot of my energy because I was really fucking upset over the whole thing. Like, I had bad enough problems as it is with my internet. I didn't need that kind of shit. It's stressing me out. Especially if I wanted to play a new game like this. I mean, I could have streamed this first. And then maybe attempted Forza, and then I would have been okay. Oh. Oh, nice. There we go. Nice bounce. Yep, there's the Wily door. The Dr. Wily door! There we go. And we got full health going into this. Nice.
I'm Bounce Man, but you can call me Handsome Bounce Guy. Why did I press the wrong button whenever I do that? Okay, that doesn't really do anything. First try. <laughs> I can't believe that took me only one try to beat him. Oh god, I'm gonna sleep well tonight. <laughs> I'm gonna sleep well tonight. Tonight's been fun, but also stressful, but partially it wasn't really from this game. I mean, I was stressed from dying over and over, but... Oh. I'm sorry, my um, monitor went off there for a second, but it's fine. But yeah, it was, it was more to do with my internet, like, just dying on me. Oh, this one you can aim with? Oh, that's cool. Let's try the power gear. Yeah, my monitor is flickering for some reason. I mean, I can still see it on OBS. Like, it's not flickering there. That's fine, I'm about to stop anyway. Does the game auto save or do you need to, like, save manually? Oh, I'm gonna save load data. Right, here we go, save. Right, there we go. Time to sleep on that bed of salt. Yeah, I think I will sleep quite well on that bed of salt tonight. So I will come back to this, of course. Like, I'm liking it so far, it's pretty good. It feels good. The levels are... Like, I don't mind the levels being long. Like, that's not the problem for me. The problem is if you get a game over at the boss and you go all the way back. Like, if they put checkpoints in the middle where you would start back, even if you, like, get a game over, I would be alright with that. But other than that, I don't really see any major problems with this game. It, feel, it feels and plays pretty much like the Mega Man that we wanted for like many years before this fucker appeared, but yeah, I will, I will do more of this. Of course I will. How did I go back to the title screen? The running unusually well today. Okay, Mega, are you sure? Nope. I don't know how to go back to the title screen. Oh, there we go. Uh, oh, right. I guess I'll just do one more save, just for just for good measure. So yeah, I quite like this. It's definitely the Mega Man game that we wanted, and I look forward to playing more of it.